This Tuesday afternoon was absolutely beautiful. We had a lot of sunshine. Temperatures not too bad, not too cool, not too warm across the region. And as we head through the next few afternoons, those temperatures will be heating up just a little bit, getting near 70 degrees by the end of the work week. But until then, the sky is going to remain fairly clear as far as rainfall through the day tomorrow, especially then on Thursday. That's when things will start to change. But tonight with the mainly clear sky, temperatures are already pretty cold. 29 degrees for you fall and Troy or actually these are our forecast lows and that's where we are headed and some of those locations are already down into the lower 30s. Now throughout the day tomorrow the winds will be shifting out of the southwest and the south and that will bring in a little bit of extra warm air from the Gulf of Mexico so that will help our temperatures to warm up pretty nicely to upper 50s maybe even lower 60s for a few locations. No rain expected for Wednesday. Same thing for the most part on Thursday but big changes are in the way in the the forecast, but again, cold tonight. There are changes with the temperatures in the forecast. The nights are going to become a little bit more mild with those southerly winds and extra moisture in place. Those afternoons will certainly be warming up and that's going to be coming in with high rain chances to end the work week. Our computer model guidance has actually updated indicating that maybe that heaviest rain will come in a little bit sooner. So these temperatures on Thursday and Friday with that southerly breeze will be on the warm side. And then as that system clears out, conditions will start to cool off a bit up for 50s, maybe getting close to the lower 60s for some locations. But all in all, not too bad as far as the temperature forecast in the next seven days. High pressure is in control of our weather right now. It is starting to weaken and will be shifting off to the east and the winds around that will be coming out of the south and cloud cover will be increasing. We'll start to see some of that stream in tonight, but this is the next storm system that we are tracking. It's going to be picking up a lot of Gulf moisture as it progresses eastwardly. And really some pretty heavy rain at that is expected. And there's a chance that even tomorrow the western panhandle could have a few sprinkles rolling through with that southerly flow off the Gulf. A weak frontal boundary will be working through. But then really as that system gets a little bit closer, Thursday evening we could already start to see some rain move into the area. But we won't see that clear out until that storm system that will be in the lower Mississippi River Valley on Thursday clear out of the region. So for tonight, mainly clear temperatures, lower 30s for tomorrow morning, climbing into the mid 30s already mid morning. And then by the afternoon hours with that southerly flow to southwesterly and southeasterly wind, we'll have those temperatures in the middle to upper 50s for our afternoon high temperatures. Cloud cover will be a little bit thicker later in the day and in the evening. That's when we could have a few sprinkles in the extreme western part of the area. But I think our computer models overdoing that coverage a little bit. And then it's on Thursday later in the day when those conditions will really start to get a little dismal as far as the high rain chances moving through the area. 31 degrees for our low temperature for tonight and then for tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds expected upper 50s to lower 60s. It's still going to be a cool day. We should be in the lower 60s for our afternoon high temperatures. Actually, the uh, average right now is 63 for what we'd expect as far as the